okay, plane's running into him. It's definitely a plane flying pretty low. Yes, ma'am. It's shooting at him. Yeah, it's shooting at him. Okay, let's talk about how we know that. And what we're going to be focusing on a lot today is how the way comic books and graphic novels get their point across. Just like, uh, what day was that? Tuesday that you read the silent comics, and it told a story just based on pictures, right? And then Mouse tells it based on words and pictures. And we're going to look at how those things come together and how all those different vocabulary words that we've been studying, like butter, gut, butter, quarters, and gutters, work together to share that story, okay? So he uses tons and tons of those things. Less words. What? If you want to, and you want some like extra credit project, we can maybe talk about that when we're finished, but no, I'm not going to make you. Because I'm not going to assume that you're an expert. Okay. I mean, you're good. Not everybody. Okay. So, as we go through this, kind of be thinking, we've got some questions we're going to go through and we're going to answer them together and kind of break down exactly what's happening with the words and the pictures and what happens. Okay, go ahead and look at page 76. Okay, what do you notice about the blocking? The blocking. Who remembers what blocking is? Um, the block. Yeah, the different panels, right? Okay. Are all the panels or all the blocks the same in this picture? No. No, which one's bigger? The one in the middle. Yeah, the one in the middle. Why do you think that one's bigger? What does that tell us about that one? Yeah, here. It's showing where they're at. Yeah, it shows us where they're at, right? Although, did you guys see those people immediately? No. I did. Did you? Oh, you have better eyes than I do, okay? Yeah, so they're right there in the middle. There's four guys walking around. Oh, I just noticed. Okay. Yeah, so if something's you want to show us something important. Do you want to do it nice and big or really teeny tiny? Big. Nice and big. Big. So what is the author saying about their location? It's big. It's big. It's important. It's important. It's important. It like yeah. The middle of nowhere. yeah. And you're right. They are in the middle of nowhere. These are a bunch of city boys. These are soldiers, and they're stationed out in the middle of nowhere. So are they going to be very comfortable where they are? No. No. Yeah. Big. And they're really tiny compared to their big environment in the middle of nowhere fighting that war. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you're answering the questions as we go along. Yes, sir. Isn't it a long shot? Yo, good job. Yeah, and this is a long shot. That's a perfect example of a long shot. We'll go ahead and label that. Yeah. So the blocking here tells us how important the setting is. The fact that they're in the middle of nowhere is really important. The fact that they're probably not feeling too comfortable. Um, all of that goes into it. And that's the same idea. How do we know that they don't feel comfortable? And how do we know that they're in the middle of nowhere? Trees yeah, all the buildings. trees and plants, right? Buildings. That's really, really big. And then how big are those figures? Tiny. Teeny, tiny. tiny. I didn't even see them there the first time I read this. I saw that speech bubble, and I'm like, wait, who's talking? Is, is this palm tree talking? Like, who's talking here? And I had to, like, go and hunt and look for those figures. Um, so, yeah. So what does that say? Are they comfortable in this situation? Are they comfortable in their environment? No. 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 They're like in an open environment, anything can happen. There. Yeah, oh, that's a nice idea. Hey, if they're in an open environment, it's probably not where you want to be in a war. Right? No. You don't want to be out in the open, totally exposed. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple seconds. I'm going to stop because we've been talking a lot so that you can jot down your answers to questions one and two. Cool. You're fine. Okay. Go ahead and look at number or page 77. This one I know gave them a little bit of confusion because this one relies pretty much solely on pictures and the elements of a graphic novel to tell the story. It doesn't rely on words a little bit. The, I think it's a, like a hut that they build as a lookout point. Okay. Yeah. How did you figure out that the plane was shooting at them? Uh, right. Yes, Mr. Saunders. This is like rat attack. Yeah, rat attack. So you have to know what? That that's the noise of? A machine gun. A machine gun. It's not just the plane like making a mechanical noise. You have to know, you have to have a little bit of background knowledge and know that that is a machine gun noise. Okay. 
Plus there's a plane, right? Yeah, the plane. But I mean, maybe it's like a mechanical thing. Okay. So, why is he drawing it at such a weird angle? Why have it going downwards like this as opposed to having it straight across? Oh, okay, so it shows which direction everything's coming from, right? Okay. It shows motion and action. shows motions and actions. That's a beautiful answer. Yeah, that's automatic. Yeah, all of this good. Yeah, nice memory from yesterday. Yeah, automatopoeia, right? The plane says vroom. The machine gun says rat a tat tat. Good. To shoot at us? Yes. Yes. Yeah, like this creates a sense of fear, right? With the lines, the bullets flying in, it's the motion of the plane. Pretty scary, pretty intense. <coughs> yeah. It also makes you have to use your brain instead of just no yeah. places. Exactly, and I think that's the interesting thing about graphic novels that people like slough them off, like, oh, those are kids' books, but really it takes so much more processing to kind of get to the image and what's happening there. Okay. Look at the big splash panel down at the bottom of page 77. Remember, what's a splash panel? Do you remember? Yeah, it takes up more than one area, right? Okay, it's one big area. Yeah. Okay, so look at this big splash panel. Okay. Yeah. It could be, like, because you can assume that there's actually, like, a gutter here, and these should be four equal size panels. Forgive me. Um, okay. Why do you think this one's so much larger? What's happening in that panel? Sure how, how yeah, how close it is. You can really see the details. You can even read the numbers on the underside of the plane. Why would that be in big? Why is that in such a big detail? Why is it so important that the plane is so close to that for me? It's important because the plane's flying low, so they can kind of figure out that they're kind of trying to. Okay, yeah. It shows the, like the, 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 the immediacy of the attack. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you can really understand his reaction, right? You're like, he's sweating here, he's breathing hard, he's very upset. Okay. And how do we know he's so upset? He looks scared. What else? Yeah, he curses, so the words tell us, and then the picture also tells us. And also the speech bubble tells us, too. What about the speech bubble? Yeah, it tells it us stands that. out, like... Those, most speech bubbles don't look like that. Yeah, most speech bubbles don't look like that. They're not sharp and pointy. That's and like an estimation right? point for a speech bubble. Yeah, I think that's good. So all of that works together. The actual, just even the shape of the speech bubble conveys meaning. The words convey meaning. His facial expressions convey meaning. All that really works together. Look at the back. Okay. See the poor guy, the ferryman? I guess. Yeah. Makes sense. T Y O O. Yeah. Okay. What's happened to all the boxes and the blocking on this page? Yeah, they're all split up. Are they split up nice and neat and squares like all the other pages? No. No. Why do you think they're all at such crazy angles here? 
Weird shapes. Go, go and Gets your attention. It's going fast. It's like different actions. Yeah, shows the action. What is the action? What's happening to this poor guy here? He's getting shot at. He's getting shot at. His boat gets destroyed. Yeah, it does. It reflects all of that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, everything's coming in different directions. It probably feels that way when he's on a boat and he's getting shot at. Guys, bam. Asking. So, Come on, get yourself together. Miss Aylesworth, can I get the cash, please? I guess. You really want him. You sure? Okay. So even the way the story is told in the pictures help convey all that action and that tension and the danger. And the poor ferryman, I'm going to tell you what happens on the next page. He drowns, he dies. Okay, so all of this is kind of a build up to that. Well, he drowns. Like his boat gets shot and it sinks and he Tried to grab can't the swim. Buggy. Yeah, no swimming. Okay. okay, how are you guys feeling about this? Do you guys feel pretty comfortable talking about the way the pictures interact and help tell the story? You ready to try it on your own? Hold on, guys. I sense the enthusiasm here. I'm a little concerned. Really and truly, very sincerely, do you think you guys can handle this doing it with mouse? No. No? no? Okay, then I will help you, okay? No. Okay. No? Okay. Then we're going to walk through it together. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and get with a partner, someone who you think you can work with well. Okay? Teams of two. I want you to work with a partner because I want you to help with people, okay? <laughs>